हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वर्ड ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन टेक्नोलॉजी दिस लेक्चर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एनिमिया सिटी प्रोजेक्ट एन इनिशिएटिव ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टूडे वी विल फोकस अवर डिस्कशन ऑन स्क्रीनिंग प्रोग्राम एंड इट्स इम्पोर्टेंस इन फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस लेट वी स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्क्रीनिंग स्क्रीनिंग इज the use of highly selective procedures to allow the detection and isolation of only those microorganisms which are of interest from among a large microbial population screening allow the discarding of many valueless microorganisms and at the same time it allow easy detection and the useful microorganisms that are present in the population in very less number now what is primary screening primary screening allow the detection and isolation of microorganisms that have potentially interesting industrial applications primary screening separate out only a few microorganisms having real commercial value primary screening determines which organisms are able to produce a compound without providing much ideas of the potential of the organisms to produce a particular product now let me explain some example of primary screening first primary screening of organic acid producing microorganisms incorporation of a ph indicating dye such as neutral red or bromothymol blue into a poorly buffered agar medium is the base to detect organic acid producing microbial populations greater buffer capacity of medium screen microbes having capability to produce considerable quantities of the acids incorporation of calcium carbonate in the medium is also used to screen organic acid producing microbe on the basis of clear zone of dissolved calcium carbonate surrounding the colony these screening approaches do not give ideas that which organic acid has been produced thus the colonies of microorganisms showing the potential to produce any fermentation product should immediately be purified and subculture into an appropriate medium to maintain as a stock culture for further screening now primary screening of antibiotic producing microorganisms the simplest screening technique for antibiotic producing microorganisms is crowded plate technique the technique is used to find out the microorganisms that produce an antibiotic without giving much information of sensitivity towards other microorganisms procedure include dilution and spreading or pouring of soil samples that give well isolated colony colonies producing antibiotic are indicated by an area of zone of inhibition around the colony such colony is subculture using a similar medium and purified by streaking before making stock cultures the purified culture is then tested to find what type of microorganisms are sensitive in the presence of these antibiotics that is microbial inhibition spectrum is carried out the crowded plate tech procedure also does not give exact ideas about antibiotic producing microorganisms because the inhibition area surrounding the colony sometimes can be due to other reasons like visible change in the ph of the medium which results due to production of some other metabolite and due to rapid utilization of some critical nutrient in the vicinity of the colony thus further testing is required to confirm the inhibitory activity associated with the microorganisms 
screening of antibiotic producing microorganisms can be improved by using a test organisms and by wilkinson methods likewise we can carry out the primary screening of organisms that produce extracellular product like vitamins amino acids and other growth factors in this case particularly we can use an oxytrophic mutant of a particular nutrient likewise we can also carry out the screening of microorganisms capable of utilizing a special carbon or nitrogen source now secondary screening what is secondary screening secondary screening allow further sorting out of microorganisms obtained from primary screening having real value for industrial processes and discarding of those lacking this potential following are some important parameters of secondary screening first secondary screening is conducted on agar plate or in flask or in small fermenter containing appropriate liquid media secondary screening can be quantitative or a qualitative in its approach third secondary screening should give information about the evaluation of the true potential of microorganisms for industrial usage fourth secondary screening determines whether microorganisms are actually producing new chemical compound or previously described compound fifth secondary screening should reveal the optimization of parameters like ph aeration or other critical requirement associated with particular microorganisms for the growth of organisms and for formation of the product six secondary screening should also detect gross genetic instability of the isolate seventh secondary screening should show whether certain medium constituents are missing or possibly are toxic to the growth of the organisms or its ability to accumulate fermentation product eighth secondary screening determines whether the product has a simple complex or even a macromolecular structure if this information is not already available then newly isolated organisms may be of high importance ninth secondary screening should show something of the chemical stability of the product and of the product's solubility pictures on various organic solvents tenth secondary screening should show whether the product have physical properties such as uv light absorption or fluorescence chemical properties that can be employed to detect the compound during the use of paper chromatography or other analytical methods and which also might be of value in predicting the structure of compound 11th in some case for certain kind of fermentation product determination should be made as to whether gross animal or plant or human toxicity can be attributed to the fermentation product particularly if it is utilized in disease treatment for example antibiotics 12th secondary screening reveals whether a product resulting from a microbial fermentation occur in culture broth in more than one chemical form and whether it is an optically or biologically active material or not 13 secondary screening should reveal whether the organisms are able to chemically alter or even destroy their own fermentation product and last secondary screening help in predicting the approaches to be utilized in conducting further research on the organisms and its fermentation processes so this is all about screening program and its importance in the fermentation technology thank you very much and have a good day